And there's one other problem I have that I have to repair this week while we're here. And it's this toilet back here in our uh, master bathroom back here. And it's one of these toilets. And I'll show you if you uh, just, I'm gonna show you with this piece of toilet paper. Throw that in there. And the toilet paper's in there. I hit my flush button over here. And it's supposed to be a macerator. Oh. That toilet paper's still there floating. Let's see if it sucks it down in a second. Well, it did pretty decent there, but see, it didn't empty the whole bowl of water or whatever might be in there. So I'm gonna have to unbolt this toilet and clean out that macerator. I believe it might be clogged with uh, some paper particles or something like that. So that's a dirty job I got to look forward to this week. Wish me luck. Welcome back to my channel, Todd's World Home Show, and I'm in the RV this week still, and I've got another issue. We were out camping and noticed that this back toilet and our second bathroom behind the master bedroom here in the rear of our 2014 Tiffin 36LA, it's got kind of an automatic flush system. It's uh, got a macerator inside of it, like a garbage disposal. So you press the button on the side here and it's supposed to uh, go down. Right now I have the water off. I'm going to show you how I did that. But I got the water level as low as I can get it. I'm hoping that's good enough. And if you guys want to tackle this job yourself, I'm going to try. See, here's what it does. It doesn't suck it in a lot with the macerator before when we first bought it earlier last year uh, when we used this it was like uh, if you did something in this toilet and flushed it it would uh, first wash it with water down the sides and then a macerator would kick on and it would be like shooting it out of a uh, space rocket out into space it would just suck everything the whole bowl out now it just sucks just a little bit partial uh, stuff in the bowl so I'm gonna remove it today and see what it's all about. I believe the macerator, uh, maybe uh, the propeller fin is clogged or something, has something stuck in it so it's not working uh, to its tops. But anyway, I'll show you back here. I did turn off the water underneath this sink here. Back there, there's a manifold tube and I repaired this from a freeze. Uh, right there I had to replace that line and I put on a new valve so your valve is probably going to look like this one over here the oblong valve shut off valve but shut this valve off cold water goes to your toilet from this manifold and you should be able to flush it one more time on the button and hopefully get a little bit more out like I did I still got some in there but I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove these caps here on both sides and see if that will release the toilet and then I can take it outside and get a better look have the garden hose on it and wash the macerator or take it apart and then hose that out see what we got better out there in daylight wish me luck okay pull the caps off both sides And there's bolts there. So let me get a socket to fit that. One long bolt.
right. Here's what it looks like in the back. See that looks like I'll disconnect this. See uh, this clamp right here, and then I can pull the whole thing out. Take a closer look. Looks like there might be some electrical back down there in that wire. Yeah, that's an electrical clamp right there. We'll pull that out. And then there's also another hose, along with some old toilet paper. I got back here somehow. And this other hose here has to come off. Looks like it's screwed on right here with the nut. See this hose? I think this is the nut here. So we'll get that off. That hose is off. Now the electrical connector here. You press the side in to release it. loosened. Okay, pull that up. Alright. We have separation, guys. Separation and a bit of a mess to clean up back here. I don't know how toilet paper got back here. Like I said, we're not the previous owners. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. First, I'm going to take this bowl outside and uh, we're going to take a closer look at it and how the macerator works on this thing. Stay tuned. Now I still have some water in the toilet bowl. I'm gonna dump it in the shower here. Maybe, see if we can make it a little bit lighter weight. This thing is pretty heavy for morning. I got most of the water out. There's still a bit. But that's not the weight of this thing. And it's not going anywhere. It's kind of sealed within those hoses in the back. I don't think it's going to leak out. So just got to get my muscles on and get it outside now. All right, guys, I've cleaned up the mess here so that when we come back in, we have a clean slate to work with. Ah, a lot better. Let's go check out that toilet. Now I recommend you get a piece of cardboard or something because this is a porcelain toilet. You don't want to chip it on the concrete or you can put it on your grass out there. You don't want get it right here and I'm gonna get grab my hose and kind of wash this off a bit 
and then we'll take a look at the macerator see how that works all right here's our macerator pump and it looks like it's a velcro strap and it's hanging underneath the pier with you can see in there it's a velcro strap and it's got a nylon strap here i'm gonna get some tools here i'm gonna clip that off and take this off the propeller i believe is in this part here so we've got a clamp around there hose clamp be right back all right this velcro strap pulls off right there just unvelcro it and I'm going to remove that clamp There we go, we got our large macerator inlet hose disconnected. Guys, I don't know. I'm looking at this thing and the propeller. Looks like it's metal. You can see that. Looks like it's metal and I don't see any debris trapped in it. It's spinning freely. I'll have to check the hose there, make sure that's clear. And I'll hose this out look cleaner than I expected. I was expecting uh, soiled toilet paper and everything else in there. So I don't know if maybe the motor is not uh, working at its full power now or what kind of, I don't know, hard to say I'm kind of disappointed in not finding a clog right here, but I kind of am now that I got it all the way out here. I'm gonna take some pictures of this model number and everything just in case, looks like it's a Sealand part number 6003466690, date code 1212, voltage 12 VDC, 16 amps. So, I don't know, let me see what else I can find. Make sure everything's clear. I run the hose up through the bowl and everything. All right, guys, I cleaned everything out. I uh, just jetted uh, hose water through it. Just some particles look like, uh, I don't know, rust particles, not doo-doo or anything, or toilet paper or uh, wiping cloths. So I'm just reassembling it right now. The only thing I could do is order another one of these pumps. But like I said, it is working. You hear it working.
Now maybe I jogged something loose from the impellers or propellers when I took it apart out here. So I'm going to get it back. Looks like I already have it put back together. I'm going to go take it back in and reinstall this baby and hopefully it works better. Alright guys, make sure your back is feeling pretty strong the day you take this toilet out of your rig. Especially getting it back up the stairs. This thing weighs a ton. Alright, let's get it hooked back up. Alright, first thing I want to do, I'm going to hook this water line back up. Let's just thread it on with your thumbs. Let's see, I'll get this electrical connector while I can get to it right here. Plug that in. Snap it. Next thing. Put our top hose clamp on here. about as tight as it was we're good to go guys now we just got to bolt the toilet back down scoot it back in and bolt the toilet down snug it up so it doesn't wiggle when you're sitting on it don't crack it. Set this side up. Alright, good to go. Now, give the toilet a jiggle. It's solid. It's solid, guys. Alright. Hopefully, this thing can handle the solid waste now. I'm going to turn the water back on in here. And that valve back up for our cold water to our toilet which comes off of this water manifold here underneath the sink now there's just some residue uh, particles doesn't look like doo-doo or anything I'm gonna go ahead and hit the flush button here you can see that There's the water, and I'm hoping it flushes the whole thing down. Takes a minute. There we go. All right, see, that's my issue. Um, it's not flushing the whole bowl. It's almost like the macerator needs to be on for a longer period of time. And I did see like some solenoids down there. Maybe the solenoid tells it to how long for the macerator to run. That seems to be my issue. Uh, I'm gonna try it with some toilet paper here now. And let's take a look. 
because that's what happens is you get some toilet paper in there with your business and uh, it doesn't pump everything down. Okay, I'm gonna hit the flush button. We got our toilet paper in there. Go. Well, you know that that was a lot better. So, not gonna complain just yet. It did a lot better. I actually heard it gurgle because it pulled down so much. And that was a lot of toilet paper. In the beginning, I just did one sheet and I had a hard time getting that, but that was a big wad. So, I'd have to say, at least I cleaned my toilet very good today, as clean as it has ever been. And guys, thank you for coming back to watch another one of my videos. If I see or hear of anything else, I'll leave it in the comments below uh, regarding the uh, macerator toilet that I have by Domenic. But right now, I'm going to give it a shot see if maybe I jog something in the propeller when I clean it all out. And maybe it's going to work for us better now. Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you on the road.